what are these unstructured complex objects so we are just going to look at unstructured complex objects and what features on or rather what implementations that an object oriented database support for them an unstructured complex object as i said has no specific type for example let's suppose i have a bitmap image okay so this bitmap image let's suppose it is of 800 by 600 resolution so in this there is no structure as such the only thing that is going to happen in here is we are going to store large number of rgb values that correspond to each pixel of this image so all these rgb values are a collection of unstructured elements okay so this is my one rgb value so i store 800 into 600 such rgb values in an unstructured complex object normally an object oriented database supports two types of unstructured complex objects one is called as a binary large object okay so this kind of unstructured complex object stores binary data for example this can be used to store an image okay and the other type of unstructured complex object is character large objects okay these store large amount of unstructured character strings so what could be an example over here this could mean a large document okay so a large document is a large collection of characters which have no specific structure these binary large objects are also called as blobs and these character large objects are also called as clobs okay so this was about unstructured complex objects now just we are going to take a look at the structured complex objects how they are composed and how they are represented let's suppose i have a tuple of a department object okay so what would my tuple look like it would have attributes something like this let's suppose i have a department name i have a department number okay i have employees in this department okay i have a manager and i have set of locations okay so this is my tuple so let's put a tuple around it okay so this becomes my tuple for department object okay so now just understand that name is an atomic object inside an department object okay similarly number is also an atomic object employees would be a set of objects manager again would in itself be a tuple kind of an object because manager would have his name his id his email his dependent list and so on and so forth and locations again would be a set of objects so let's see how do we represent them 
so my department object is represented as we talked about i c v triple so let's suppose my department object has an object identifier i1 okay and this is i value okay now let's suppose i represent this as object 1 okay and this would point to this now this is the v value that is the value of this object and what is the c value the c value is tuple since this is of type tuple so this is my icv representation for this the value is represented by an arrow pointing to the tuple the id is represented by i1 and c is represented by tuple now inside this tuple what i would have is let's suppose i have the name over here so name again is an object let's call this as i2 okay and we would have an object o2 over here and this o2 is going to store the name of the department object let's call this department as research okay so this is going to store research then the number number again is an atomic object so we will have another id over here let's suppose i call this object as o3 and this is going to store let's suppose my department id is 1256 okay now employees is a set of objects okay although it itself is an object so i have a object o4 okay we also write just understand i would write atomic over here because this is an atomic object okay similarly atomic over here since this is an atomic object now regarding my employees i would say that this is a set okay and this set is going to point to a let's suppose i have three elements in this sets in this set rather okay so i assume one of the values is there is an employee whose object id is i5 and he stored in object o5 okay and the employee is of the type tuple and let's suppose this tuple has values like simple values i'm going to take over here it would have a name let's suppose the name of the employee is rebel okay then next we would have an employee id let's suppose employee id is 1 2 3 then probably we would have an email let's suppose his email is ra at something.com and finally i would give this an employee a department name okay now just understand one thing since this employee is working in the research department since it is composed in itself in the research object what i can do is this value i can make to point to the original table over here let's suppose i i go up i go up like this okay and i come here and this is where i point my object okay so this is the 
this value stores the department this value stores the email this value has id and this value has name okay now this tuple is having three atomic value and one tuple value okay and that tuple value is pointed by the object department object itself okay and similarly we would have other employees like this okay and similarly we would have a manager over here this manager again let's suppose he is of type i6 and he is stored in the object o6 and that object would be of type tuple okay and that tuple is something like this where again the department is pointing to the original research department okay and again we would have locations let's suppose this is my location this is i7 my locations are stored in object o7 now this location is a type of set okay so we would have something like this over here we would have many number of locations and each of these elements are themselves let's suppose going to point to a particular tuple okay i call this i8 let the object be o8 this would be a tuple and this o8 would have a value like let's suppose i just have a name my name is let's suppose i call this as fifth avenue and it has a city let's suppose i store the city as new york so this is my tuple for the location okay i have two values over here i have a name and i have a city just understand this tuple has all attributes which are of type atomic so this is how we represent a complex structured object okay this object is structured because it is created with the help of type constructors okay a tuple is a type constructor my department object is of the type tuple and this object is storing many other objects how it is storing it is storing those objects in terms of oids okay just understand one thing that these values are themselves objects okay so so i have represented this in the form of a relational tuple ideally what would be here is we would have name pointing to i9 which would be an object of o9 and this o9 would be an atomic value and this o9 would point to rebel okay this is how this is represented actually okay similarly my id is going to point to i10 the object would be let's suppose o10 i'm going to say it is atomic and it is going to point to 1 2 3 okay that is how exactly it is represented here i have only represented here in the form of a relational so that it is simpler to understand okay another thing to be understood over here is the objects which are the a 
another thing that we are going to understand over here is that this object this entire object is is related to the employee object which is over here right this is my employee okay this is my employee object by a ownership semantic okay i call this ownership semantic ownership semantic says that this particular object which stores just a single string value rebel is owned entirely by the employee object okay the other kind of semantics that we have is reference semantics reference semantics says that object is not owned by the object but rather only referenced by it so just understand over here this department object of the employee is referenced by the employee object okay so i call this semantic as reference semantics okay the rebel is totally owned by the employee object while the department in which he works okay that is which department that is it is the research department this department or rather the object o1 is not employed by is not owned by the employee rather it is only referenced by the employee to indicate the relationship that employee works in research department so that was about semantics we have ownership semantic and we have reference semantics okay ownership semantic attributes they are dependent on its owner okay while reference semantic objects are independent okay